What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name's Chris and here we explore products, places, and things that help us live a more enjoyable life. I remember when I had the Tarmac SL7 built up in summer 2020, I picked it up from the shop and the guy handed me like this bag of accessories and like extra bolts and stuff like that. And he goes, inside of that bag are all of your mounts for like your Garmin, your Wahoo, or like that new Karoo. And I remember thinking like, Karoo, what the heck is a Karoo? I've never even heard of that. That must be something that's like big on the other side of the world. Fast forward almost two years, and it's one of the products that I'm most excited to try this year. Today I wanna to share some of my thoughts on why I'm considering switching over to Karoo from Wahoo. As always, I offer my perspective as someone who might be a little bit like you. I ride around 7,500 miles a year, enter the occasional race, and don't get paid to ride a bike, but man, do I love to smash the pedals with friends in between work, life, and social obligations. I should also add that I bought this Karoo just like everybody else does. I paid full price, I bought it from competitive cyclists, no discount code, no sponsorship, nothing like that. So I can kind of offer like a true opinion on the unit after I've had a chance to use it for a little while. I'll also add as a frame of reference that I've been using the Wahoo Element Bolt for the last two years. And prior to that, I had a Garmin Edge 520 for a couple years. So I'm pretty familiar with both of those platforms. Also, is it mind boggling to anyone else that a lot of these bike computers today look and function like they were built in the 90s. I mean, I look at some of them and they look like the Tamagotchi pet that my niece has that she has to feed. Maybe I should give these bike computers a little bit of a break. I mean, all that I really need to see on that display is my power, my heart rate, my speed, my mileage, maybe throw in the time of day or something like that. And I'm a happy camper. But I do find myself scratching my head a little bit when I hold my iPhone in my hand, a device that seems to be able to perform infinite tasks, and then I hold my Wahoo Element in my hand and it struggles to simply connect to my heart rate monitor. I digress, but you get my point. Enter Hammerhead. The Hammerhead Karoo 2 intrigues me for a few different reasons. The first is simply the maps and displays and navigations on a proper size screen that again, doesn't look like it's something out of the 90s. See, when I travel, I find that I often spend so much time stopping, looking at maps, making sure I'm going in the right direction, that it's time to have a proper unit that displays where I'm going, tells me when I need to turn. Of course, this isn't necessarily exclusive to the Karoo 2, but it will be really nice to have that big display, and I'm hoping that makes a big difference when it comes to riding in new places and being able to navigate around. Predictive paths is also a feature that I'm really excited to try out. I've read mixed reviews about it, but again, when you're traveling somewhere new and you're not familiar with the climbs and you're not familiar with the routes that are around, it'll be really nice to be able to make adjustments on the fly based on where you are. I think if I've got some time to explore, I think this will be an excellent, excellent feature and eliminate that kind of like pre-ride planning where you're looking on Strava, trying to find segments, looking to see kind of where the route goes. I think this will be an awesome feature. One of the other things I'm really excited for when it comes to the Karoo 2 are the constant updates and enhancements that Hammerhead pushes to the device. Now Hammerhead says that they do bi-weekly updates to the devices and that's a pretty big deal. If I think about the last two cycling computers that I have, I mean, maybe I had one, two, three updates a year, but not many more. And you could argue that sure, because they work flawlessly, they didn't have to fix any bugs and make improvements. But you know what? I also didn't get any new features on my Bolt, as well as my Garmin Edge 520. So it'll be really exciting to have a device and then have new features automatically push to the device. As excited as I am to try the Karoo 2, I do have a few concerns. And the first and biggest one is battery life. And this is one that's kind of hard to test. Now, Hammerhead claims that the Karoo 2 has a 12 hour battery life. Uh, from the folks that I've talked to who have it already, there's a little bit of concern that it may not last 12 hours. So for me, someone who's doing a 200 mile bike race in September, I really don't want to get 180 miles in and have this thing die. My second biggest concern is the interface. One of the main reasons that I left Garmin and went to Wahoo was because I really got sick of just how difficult it was to make small adjustments on that computer. See, it was the Edge 520, and so there were just side buttons. So you had to kind of go up and down on the right and select it on the left. And you have to scroll through five, sometimes 10 different screens just to adjust one simple thing on the Garmin. Now, fast forward to the Wahoo, everything's on the phone. It's an incredibly intuitive system, and I really like it. So I'm curious to see if I like the Karoo interface better than the Wahoo 
or if it's kind of on par, but it is a concern that I have, mostly because I really do like the Wahoo interface. My last concern is that this device is just totally overkill for what I need. See, I'm thinking about all these features and thinking about how I'm gonna utilize them, but something tells me that in 30 days from now, I'm gonna be back to the same five or six screens, power, heart rate, speed, mileage, time of day, and maybe a couple other fields, and that's about it. And if that's the case, I really don't need the Karoo 2. I can get by with simply my old Wahoo Element Bolt. But I guess that's the beauty of the Karoo, is based on Hammerhead's guarantee, you have 45 days to try it out. So I'll give it 30 days, see if I like it. That's my logic behind making the switch, or at least giving it a try. I mean, come on, it's 2022, and I think we need bike computers that are a bit more 2022, and a lot less 90s Tamagotchi. And for that reason, the Karoo 2 really resonates with me. What do you guys think? Is this thing totally overkill? Have any of you used it? Have any of you had a chance to try the battery life? If you have, drop me a comment below, shoot me a message on Instagram. Also, let me know if there's something else that I should try or something else that I should be considering. Anyways, I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'll let you know my thoughts after I do. Until then, peace.